The movie starts on a hectic and busy morning in London. It shows an author, Dan Wolfe, who meets a stunning American woman who has been injured by a car and is confused about the way traffic goes in England. He takes her to the hospital and they both discuss about themselves to each other. They pass past Postman's Park on the way back from the hospital. She identifies herself as Alice Ayres when Dan asks her name. They quickly fall in love. A novel based on Alice's life was written by Dan a year later. He flirts with American photographer Anna Cameron while being photographed to promote it. Before Alice shows up, they kiss. Dan tries to seduce Anna while she uses the restroom, but their chat is interrupted when Alice returns. Anna is then asked by Alice if she would also like to have her picture taken. Anna agrees to Alice's request that Dan leave them alone while they are having their portrait taken. She claims to have heard them while being photographed and is shown sobbing to Anna. Because Alice doesn't tell Dan what she overheard, Dan and Alice's relationship continues, but Dan spends a year questioning his interest in Anna. One more year passes until Dan meets British dermatologist Larry Gray in a cybersex chat site. Dan pretends to be Anna because she's still on his mind and asks Larry to meet him at the aquarium, which is where Anna frequently visits. Larry meets with Anna at the aquarium and he realizes that she wasn't the one he was texting after she explained that he has been a victim of a prank which was done to him by Dan. They get close and later on become a couple. After about four months, Anna hosts a photo exhibition where Larry meets Alice and has a little but weird conversation with her. He knows that she and Dan are a couple through his conversation with Anna. Dan also goes to meet Anna and they both discuss with Dan acting creepy. A few moments later, Alice calls Dan and they both leave the exhibition. When they get outside, Dan stops a cab for Alice and as she leaves, he goes back inside. He goes to meet Anna and tries to persuade her to be involved in a relationship with him. The two of them cheat on each other's lovers for a year. It is revealed that Larry and Anna even get married halfway through the year. One day, Dan gets back home and reveals to Alice that he is cheating on her with Anna. She gets sad and he tries to beg her. She attempts to leave the house but he begs her to stay as she has nowhere to go. She leaves anyway by sneaking out when he goes to get something in the kitchen. Larry returns home from a trip and is met by Anna's cold attitude. He even brings her gifts and tells her jokes but he feels that something is wrong. She finally opens up to him that she has been cheating on him with Dan. He gets so annoyed that he insults her. She leaves the house leaving him wrecked. Alice resumes her stripping career and job after experiencing heartbreak over her loss, Dan. One day, Larry ventures into the strip club and he unintentionally bumps into her at the strip club. He pays her money to talk to him and strip. He wants to touch her but she tells him that it's against the rules as there are cameras in the room. When he asks what her real name is, she responds, Jane Jones. He refuses to believe her and keeps telling her to stop lying. But she continues to say the same name. He asks her to have sex with him and she declines his request. He gives her a lot of money and she keeps saying thank you. Later, Anna and Larry meet at a restaurant and have coffee together. The purpose of their meeting is to sign their divorce papers. She begs him to sign the divorce papers, and he haggles with her, begging her to come back to him. He then resolves that he would only sign the papers if she agreed to have sex with him. He says he would leave them finally if that happens. Anna thinks about it for a while then finally accepts to have sex with in exchange for his signing the divorce papers. Dan learns Anna had sex with Larry when they later meet at an hall and she tells him the divorce papers have been signed. She claims she did it so he would leave them alone, but Dan is furious and does not trust her. Later, a dejected Dan visits Larry in his place of work and confronts him in an effort to win Anna back. Larry informs him that Anna never submitted the duly executed divorce papers and advises him to get back to Alice. Dan hasn't seen Alice since they broke up so he was shocked. Larry tells him that she works at a strip club and that he saw her there. Larry lies to Dan at first that he didn't have sex with her but later tells him that he did. Dan travels with Alice and the two of them organize a holiday in the United States. They discuss how they met while enjoying being back together in a hotel room at Gatwick Airport. Dan brings up Larry and then inquires as to whether she had sex with him. She initially denies it, but after a short while she admits she did have a sexual encounter with Larry and that she no longer loves Dan. Dan tries to beg Alice to stay with him but Alice insists that it is finished and tells Dan to go even though Dan forgave her. At the end of the disagreement, Dan strikes Alice on her face when she spits on him. The movie ends with Larry and Anna together in bed, while Alice travels back to New York City by herself. An image of her passport taken when she enters the country again reveals that her real identity is Jane Jones, proving she lied about it for the entire four years of her relationship with Dan but disclosed the truth to Larry even though he didn't believe her. 
Dan goes back to Postman's Park in London and discovers the name Alice Ayres engraved on the memorial's tiles. The Ayres dedication honors a young woman who saved three children from a fire, by intrepid conduct, and, at the sacrifice of her own young life. 